Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about the call handlers in Unity. So let's just discuss about the call handlers. What is call handler and where we can use it? What's the use of it? And first I'll uh, go through this uh, slide and then I'll show you how we can create these call handlers on Cisco Unity as well as the configuration on the CUCM. So what is call handler? So as the name suggests, call handler, that is the how it will handle the call, right? So what's the use of this call handler? Call handler can answer the calls. The first thing is call handler can answer the calls. It can take messages. Call handler can be a part of auto attendant as well. Call handler, uh, it can play a recorded announcements as well, and it can transfer the calls to other users or other call handlers as well, right? So it depends how you can configure this call handler in Cisco Unity connection, right? So in this example, I will show you uh, how we can create it and the main call handler we can say it's like uh, whenever you are calling a call center environment and uh, there is an announcement uh, whenever you dial that number the call center number like thank you for calling this one press one to go to this one press two to go to this department press three to go to this department so this is an example of a call handler that is if whenever you press one it will go to that department only whenever you press two it will go to the other department whenever you press three four five like you call to customer care and you want to speak to the customer care so most of the time they have eight nine zero star and pound key as well for the so it depends how they configured this thing i will show it to you on the cucm or on the unity like how we can configure the call, how we can create the call handler, how we can create, how we can configure it as well. So in this example, I'm going to create like this one. Whenever someone press zero, it will go to operator. Whenever someone presses one, it will go to the sales department. Press two, go to the finance department. Go to uh, press three, go to the IT department. These all are the inputs. I'm going to configure it. And then I will show it to you. Let, let me just... Uh, log into the unity and then i'll show you this one so this is my unity and i am logging in with the admin credentials here right so before this one before uh, creating the call handler you should know about the schedules as well as the phone system because whenever you are creating the system call handler it will ask for the schedule as well as the phone system right let me just show it to you right how we can add the call handlers so here you need to go to this call management and then you can click on this system call handlers right so once you click on this system call handlers you will be able to see these three call handlers these three call handlers are by default created you cannot delete it right you cannot like select it and you cannot delete it. You just you just can see it if by just clicking on this goodbye or opening greeting or the operator. So these call handlers are by default created. Now we are gonna create a new call handler. So let's just click on this add new. So now when you click on this add new, it is asking for a display name, an extension number, and a call handler template. So call handler template is created is here. It's by default system call handler template will show. Display name, you can see. So here you have, we are going to create a call handler for, uh, I can say, a customer care. Let me just say customer care. Okay. The extension number you can provide. Let me just give the extension number as 5555 here and then click on save now you know i i just created a call handler with the name customer care and the extension would be 5555 right this one here you can see okay so now you can see there are two things which are important as of now this phone system and this active schedule right so 
uh, let me just show you where you can create this font system and the active schedule as well. So for the active schedule, you can watch my previous videos on this schedule, how we can create it, the, how we can create the schedule, active schedule or the holiday schedule and how we can configure it. You can watch my previous video for this one before watching this call handler video. Okay, and for this font system, let me just show it to you where you can create it. Uh, I will show you the uh, active schedule uh, where I created it earlier. I will show it to you that as well. So now let me just go to this font system. For the font system, you need to go to the telephone integration, this one, and here you can see the font system, All right? So here you will be able to see these are created like I created it earlier. That's why it is showing two font systems. The main thing here is what's the use or what's the purpose of this phone system in the call handler? Because if you are not giving any phone system at first, it will not allow you to create it. Second thing, why it is used the phone system? Because once you create the phone system, you need to add the ports as well, right? With the help of those ports, it will communicate with the call manager that is CUCM because on the CUCM we are going to create a CTI route point with the same extension that is 5555. Why there is a need to create that CTI route point on the uh, with the same extension which I created as a call handler because the call will come to the call handle uh, on the call manager. So that's why I'm creating a CTI route point on that call manager and whenever the call is coming on the call manager. So I created a call uh, CTR route point with the 5555 and I created the call handler as well. I will add the extensions under the CTI route point that we can call it as CTI ports, right? So it will work on the ports, right? So whenever I'm creating the CTI route point with the same extension, when not whenever, it's just you need to create the same as a CTI route point and the call handler so that they can communicate. Right, so we need to create the phone system by going to this phone system. You can create one and then you can add the ports. Let me show you uh, how we can create the phone system as well. Let me create, let me just click on this add new and let me just give the same name customer care and click on save. Right, so after clicking on save, it will show me these things. We just click like these are checked or unchecked by default. We don't need to change anything here. So after this one, you need to go to the port group here. You can see created links at the port group. Go to this one. So once I click on this port group, it will uh, like ask me like whether you wanted to uh, create it as SACP or SIP connection, like, like these things. So I'm gonna create it as a SACP device name prefix on extension of extension it will is showing these things or ipv4 address or ipv6 address this will be your cocm ip address right so here you can just add the ipv4 address device name prefix on extension of extension so you can create it in this way and then you can add the ports here or you can directly go to this port here you can see uh, under this CUCM12, the phone system, let me just show you phone system. Here you can see CUCM12 is already created and the ports are already created under this CUCM12 as well, right? So if you want to add a new as well, you can create it. So these two ports is needed, right? So if you don't know how to create this phone system, port group or ports, you can go and check out my video on the integration between CUCM and unity you will be able to know you will get to know how we can create these phone systems right second thing is uh, our schedule schedule is under system settings here you can see the schedules if you've already watched my first video then you should know like we created this weekdays monday till friday schedule right and under this schedule i already created this holiday schedule uh, sorry this holiday schedule I created earlier and under this schedule, I already added the India holidays on which I added Republic Day as well as Independence Day on this particular holiday schedule, right? Now, 
we have the schedule as well as we have the font system. Now we can go back to our call handler, system call handler. Here you will be able to see my call handler, which I created that is customer care. Let me click on this one, right? So once I click on this one, you will be able to see the same page like phone system and the schedule which we need to add. Here you can see phone systems, UCM, OPC, 12 and customer care, it is showing. So I'm not gonna add this customer care because I haven't added the ports here. So it's just like, just you can click on anyone because I am just, I just wanted to show you how we can create it. In the active schedule, we have this all hours, voice recognition, weekdays and weekdays, Monday to Friday. This is the one which I created. Now under this weekdays, Monday to Friday, we have a holiday schedule already created as well. Correct? So I just uh, selected the active schedule, phone system. Now you don't need to add anything else. Just click on save. So once you click on save, you can see it is saying that updated call handler. So this customer care call handler is already updated right now. Now the next thing would be the greeting and the caller inputs, like how they will uh, input, like whenever there is a call or to the customer care and there is an announcement, thank you for calling this customer care and that customer care, please press one for this, press two for this, press three for this. Okay, so let me first show it to you those inputs, how we can add it. So for that, you should go to that particular call handler, this customer care call handler, and then click on this edit. Then you have this caller input, right? So just click on this caller input. And under this caller input, you will be able to see everything start from star, pound, and zero till nine, right? So these are already there. Now we have an, uh, our example was press zero for operator, right? And press one for sales, press two for uh, other department. I forgot like finance department, I believe, and press three for the IT department. Let me, let me just check it out as well. Okay, zero for operator, one sales, finance and IT department. Okay, so we can go to this zero. Now, zero, you can see it here, key is zero, call action. What call action you wanted to give whenever somebody presses zero? If you want to ignore, then you can just click on this drop down. Now, what you want to do? Do you want to take a message? Do you want to skip greeting? Do you want to route it from the next call routing rule or something or really start greeting? In our example, if somebody is pressing zero, then it should go to operator. Right. Let me just click on this transfer to alternate contact number. And once you click on this one, you will be able to see this extension or URI. Okay. And I know my operator's number is 1111. And let me give the description. So description is just for your ease so that you should know uh, the operator extension is this 111. Right. And let me now just click on save. Right. Or if you want to do any other thing, like if you want to just send a like a voicemail or something, you can click on this user with mailbox, go to operator and deliverable use. These are the users which are created. That's why it is showing the user with mailbox. If you want to send it to anyone's voicemail, right? Then you can do this one. But as of now, we just clicked on this collection and operator. It is already updated, so I'm not gonna save it again. Or let me, or I can, I can uh, save it again as. Well. Now, the next thing is we need to add it for one, two, and three. We need to add it for these three keys. For that, you need to go to that caller input again. Let me click on that caller input. Okay, now we have this one, two, and three in our example. Let me just add it a little fast. So again, for that, you can click on this transfer to alternate contact number, and let's have two, 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 four, sales and click on save okay then we have another input for uh two we can add it again for two and for two we have again the same thing transfer to alternate contact number let's uh, have three 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 four finance department okay let me click on save 
so we have one 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 two 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 three 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 we have zero one and two key and let me just add the third one as well that is for the it department the third one key number three so you can if you want to hang up if you want to ignore you can you can just choose it up it depends on the config depends on the uh, configuration which you want to give right so my example was to just send zero one two three to the different different departments this is it department and click on save right here let me just go to the caller inputs again and we'll show you here you can see it is showing zero one two three transfer to alternate contact number right so whenever somebody is pressing zero one two three it will transfer it to sales department it finance or operator now we have other keys as well four five six seven eight nine right if you want to uh give uh whenever somebody is pressing nine key it should uh do something okay because sometimes user just presses nine uh without even uh without even checking what all are the keys it wanted it to press so whenever somebody is pressing nine if you want to ignore it if you want to hang up if you want to restart then you can do this let's just click on this hang up and click on save so if somebody is calling on 5555 and it will just say thank you for calling this and that customer care please press zero for this to op for operator please press one to go to the sales department two for finance three for it okay then we are not giving uh if we are not giving an announcement for the nine for a hang up but if somebody is pressing nine mistakenly or intentionally then it will hang up the call because that is my configuration and that recording that greeting thank you for calling this and that it depends on me what i wanted it to create or what i wanted it to see right so these things are there uh, how you can add the caller inputs now next thing would be these greetings right now let me just click on this greeting and you will be able to see these six or seven greetings alternate busy error internal closed standard and holiday so these are the greetings which are already created by default in the system and this alternate is the highest priority let me just give you a in detail like a brief detail about these greetings right so let me just click on the next slide here you can see there are multiple greetings which are available i just showed it to you on the unity so the first greeting it will it was showing alternate why it is the top priority or highest priority because it overrides all other greetings right and what's the description what's the use it is useful for special situations like out of office for an extended period of time next one we have busy it overrides standard internal closed and holiday greetings so next one would be busy it overrides this is standard greeting internal greeting and we have closed and holiday closed and holiday these four getting it overrides all these four right it plays when the targets extension is busy right next one is error it's none plays when a caller entered invalid digits in a call handler slash mailbox right we have internal it overrides a standard closed and holiday greetings these three this greeting is for internal callers and tends to be more informal or adds information that only internal callers need to know like i'm in the sales meeting in room this one and that this is just an example closed overrides standard greeting this is standard greeting it plays when the business is closed active according to active schedule i hope you know about the active schedule uh, and how it knows the it is the business is closed depends on the holiday or the active schedule standard that is this is the normal greeting like plays when not overridden by another greeting in holiday it overrides the standard and closed greeting if there is any holiday it overrides the standard and the closed one plays when the business is closed for a holiday as specified in the active schedules holiday dates okay now select the standard greeting and record a message for callers indicated indicating that they can dial zero for the operator one for the sales department and so on and then click on save right let me just show it to you so these all are the greetings which are already there alternate busy error internal close standard holiday 
now we are using this error and standard one just click on this standard one and now here you will be able to see multiple options under this greetings right now you can see there are so many options here now this greeting as of now it's saying greeting enabled with no and date time nothing is here but if you want to enable it for a particular period of time you can just click on this one enabled until and date and time right now after that we have this caller cs system default reading greeting if you want to hear my personal recording and please record your message or you want to do one nothing if you want to have my personal recording and you don't want users to uh, hear this one record your message at the on prompt my personal recording okay now after that this is callers here we are, we are not using this caller c so during greeting do you want to ignore caller input then you can press this one but as of now in our example we have created 0 1 2 and 3 for the inputs we cannot click on this one ignore caller input so allow transfer to numbers not associated if you want to click on this one you can times to reprompt caller zero delay between reprompts two seconds this, this depends on the configuration which you want to do and after greeting what you want to take like what would be the call action do you want to take a message do you want to hang up do you want to restart the greeting do you want to route it for the from route from next call routing rule right you can click on take message as well if you this is the call action if you want to handle the call you can call you can click on this call handler you have these four call handlers which you created you can click on customer care attempt transfer or go directly to greetings it depends on you okay then you have this user with mailbox as well if you want to do it for this greeting you can click on this one it depends on all your configuration okay now you have this one as well recordings recorded languages or this one select language uh, if you want to play the recording here right if you want to uh, just add your greeting and then you can you can click on this save option right so this is all about uh, in the greeting tab let let's say this is the uh, uh, i can say the standard greeting we have other greetings as well and let me just show it to you if it is having any other thing like this is the alt uh, alternate so when this greeting is enabled earlier it, it is not enabled when this greeting is enabled it overrides all other greetings only this greeting will play you can enable it enable it for a particular period of time and all other options you can see are same right nothing is there this is for the okay so this one is there like if if you have uh, already recorded meeting then uh, and any recorded greeting then you can just click on this one and once you click on this one it is showing upload once you click on this one it will open a new window and from there you can enter you can just add the greeting which you already recorded it earlier right let me just go back to this greetings again here you can see all of the, all these greetings are showing up here. Now our work for the call handlers in the unit is done. And let's just check it out what all are left for this greeting because we haven't created CTR out point yet. This is call handler greetings. Now, next is call handler configuration on CUCM. So the configuration is CTI route point. So what's the purpose of the CTI route point? I think I already communicated it earlier. So this route point is a virtual device that can receive multiple simultaneous calls for application controlled redirection. So this route point, it is a virtual phone which can receive multiple simultaneous calls. It is basically used in IVR. And the CTI applications allow you to perform such tasks as retrieving customer information from a database on the basis of information that caller ID provides, right? So let's just go to our CUCM and let me show you how we can create this CTI route point. So here I am on my CUCM and let me just log into this CUCM and let me show you how we can create the CTI route point. 
So for that, you need to go to the tabs, which are which will just show. OK, now for the CTI route point, you need to go to this device. And here you can see the CTI route point at the very first. Let me just click on this one. And then you will be able to create the CTI route point. As of now, I don't want to see whether any create any route points are created or not. Let me just click on add new and let me add a CTI route point with the same extension uh, which I created it in the Unity, right? So device name it is saying you can let's just I'm just gonna give it a test one. Device pool depends on you which you created it for your organization location. Everything is showing up here and let's just click on save. Now, after this one, it asks to add an extension number for this particular CTA route point because this is a virtual. This is a virtual phone, right? So for this, you need to add a DN, right? Here it is saying association, add a new DN, right? So once you click on this, add a new DN, it will just open like a new phone, like a normal phone. Now the directory number, my directory number would be 5555, which I created it in the Unity connection. So if any call is coming on this 5555, it should go to voicemail, right? That configuration, I need to do it here, right? So I'm just gonna give a partition like which are already created it earlier. I'm, I haven't created it yet. So this 5555 directory number I have already given. Now in the description, let me just add only the test things. Okay. Now the next configuration would be for the voicemail profile. Why the voicemail profile? Because if someone is calling me on this number 5555, this is a virtual phone, it will not ring anywhere. This is a virtual one. So I want to give this i want to transfer this call kind of transfer i'm not saying it will transfer i am just i just wanted it if somebody is calling on 5555 it should go to that call handler which i configured in unity so you need to give the voicemail profile so we can say the default voicemail profile which you you can create it so as of now i'm just using default voicemail profile and the next thing which is very important that is this forward hole so once you click on this forward all voicemail, so if anyone is calling on 5555, it will directly forward it to your voicemail, right? And how it will go to your voicemail? It will go to voicemail with the help of CTI ports, the ports which you created, right? Uh, if you if you don't know about the ports, if you don't know about the integration, then please go and check out my video on integration between CUCM and Unity for the voicemail, right? So it is uh, going to the voicemail. I just clicked on this one. And here you can add the few things, display and all other things if you want, and then click on save. Let's just wait for a moment once it loads, and then I'll show you the it will show the directory number is already given there, right? Add successful. Let me go back to the configured device, configured CTI route point actually. So this is my CTI route point. Registration and IPv4 address, it will show unknown and none because it is not on any device which will show you an IP address, right? So here it is showing the line one five 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 in global learned E one sixty four numbers, right? So I hope now you know how we can create the CDR route point, how we can create the call handler, how we can communicate it with the call handler as well, right? Let's just go back to our slides and we'll see if anything is left. No, so call handlers in Cisco Unity connection, call handler greetings, call handler configuration on CUCM. We already did that. So I hope you learned something from my video. If you have any queries, then please let me know in the comment section. And if you really like this video, then please like, share, and subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends, colleagues. Then and please press the bell icon so that you can receive notifications of all my upcoming videos.
Thank you.